Hello designers! In this tutorial, I will show you how to access Microsoft OneNote from Canvas directly. We're going to be using Microsoft OneNote in order for us to take notes digitally of some of the certification content that we will be learning in order to pass our Adobe certification test. You'll see that on the left hand navigation, you'll have a brand new tab called Class Notebook. So we're going to click on it. And then it's going to prompt you to sign into OneNote. Just click on the purple bar and it will log you in automatically using your 06 number and the same information that you use to sign into Clever. As you can see, they already verified my identity, so I'm going to select Open in OneNote Online. Now there's a difference between selecting Open in OneNote, which is going to open the program on your computer, and Open in OneNote Online, which is going to run the program on a separate tab in your internet browser. So I suggest just keeping it in OneNote Online. Now that OneNote has loaded, I can see the class notebook that I set up for you guys. In the class notebook, I'll be able to view all of your names and all of the notes that you guys are writing as you do your Learn Key course. So be mindful that I can view anything that you guys are putting on here, so make sure it is appropriate to be viewed by me and other students. So if I was going to go and write new notes, I would click on my name. And then you guys will see that I already created a section for you based on whatever software you guys are reviewing for certification purposes. So in this case, I created a section called Learn Key Photoshop Notes. And you have the ability to then add pages to that section. Here's what I mean. So here I actually have the Illustrator um, Learn Key course open, but that's okay. I'll still be able to use it for the purposes of this demo. And one of the things that I asked you guys to do is to review the session trainings to help you determine some of the material that you are not as proficient in. So if I go and click on one of the session trainings. Hello, my name is Lee. I'm just going to go and peruse some of the topics that are available in this session training. And I can see I'm familiar with most of them. I'm familiar with how to use the tools. I'm familiar with the document and interface. But I seem to have a hard time understanding the difference between raster formats and vector formats. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a page dedicated to those two topics so that as I'm watching these videos explaining the difference between raster and vector, I can take notes on that page. So I know it says Learn Key Photoshop, it's not a big deal. Just pretend I'm watching the Photoshop video. Right now the page is untitled, so I'm going to first title it and I'm going to call this page Raster versus Vector. And then based on the content that I'm learning in the Learn Key course, I'm going to take notes right under here. I know already, for example, that raster is a lossy format dependent on image pixels and vector is loss free so you can enlarge vector images without worrying about pixels. Now, the way that you guys do your notes is completely up to you. I was kind of writing it out in narrative because that's how I was thinking it in my head. You guys would prefer to do it like in bullets or just focus on the technique that is demonstrated in the section. That's completely up to you. So I can go back to this particular page for raster versus vector at any time. So let's say a student um, sitting near me gave me some kind of idea or some kind of insight about raster versus vector that I hadn't thought of before, I could go and write it in. So if a student was like, you know what, 
Vector is great, but it just doesn't have the wide range or doesn't support the wide range of colors that a raster format would. I would want to go and write that down in my notes. So I would write at any point in time. So I could go back to it the next day, or one week later, whenever. And I would write something like raster formatting or raster formats. Format support a larger range of colors. Fine. And the great thing is that you'll see that this is saving automatically, so you never have to go and save this document. You never have to go and worry about losing your notes because it's going to be stored digitally. Now that is for one page on one topic. So let's say I'm done reviewing the raster versus vector and now I want to review copyright because maybe I just wasn't paying so much attention when Miss Abaya taught me about copyright. So no problem. I will go and watch the video of copyright. And then I will go and create a new page on OneNote and I'm going to title this one copyright. And this is just gonna help me to organize my notes and make it easier whenever I'm studying the content that I just have a harder time understanding. So for copyright, let's see, let, let me write something related to the fair use doctrine. So fair use states that you can use images and writing for the purposes of education okay so that's something I might have learned in the course or something that I already know from class and so forth so I can go back to this particular page anytime so let's say one month from now if I still need to review my content on copyright I can go back to it and you guys have the ability to add as many pages as you want for any topics that you guys are reviewing in learn key so if for example I was also struggling with topography I might go and add a separate um, page for topography and then draw up all my notes. You guys also have the ability to insert images if that's going to help you to um, understand the content better. So for example for topography I might want to go and include an image that illustrates the difference between serif and sans serif fonts better. So I might want to go to insert and then picture and then I'm just going to select from online because I don't necessarily have one right now to illustrate that. So I might want to go in and type in, let's say, serif font. Okay, so this image right here really illustrates the difference between serif and sans serif really well. So I'm just going to select it and click on insert. And that picture is just going to help me to study better. It's going to help me to remember these concepts better. Um, if you wanted to share this with any person, like let's say you want to share this with a buddy in another period, you could go and click where it says share at the top of the OneNote workspace. And then you can pretty much send them a message to your email, to their email, or you can send them a link that is shareable so that they can go and view your notes. If you want them to have access and be able to write in their notes, that's another topic altogether. So for the moment, I'm just going to assume you want them to view the content. Anytime you come into class and you have to do the uh, Learn Key course, you are going to open Class Notebook and have it open in a separate tab the way that I have it open right now so that you have basically a total of three tabs. You have Class Notebook on Canvas, you have Learn Key open, and then you have one note online once that loads. Remember that you can always fill these in from home and you can always study these from home so you're not limited to just doing this in the classroom. I hope that's been helpful to you. Hit me up below if you have any questions and I will see you guys in class shortly.